I've received the intercept battle results from Seneca. Hmm. This won't do. Since we have the Ironheart, closing at least one part of the dimensional wall might be a good idea. Everyone, we're going to use the Ironheart at the Albion Prime hands. It's time to fulfill our desire to stop the Colossi. Enzo, prepare to activate the Prime hands. Affirmative. Descendant, why don't you go and observe? Since you played a key part in securing the Ironheart, you should experience this glorious moment firsthand. The future of humanity will change from here on out. I'm proud of you. HQ, the Ironheart is in position. Prime hands ready to be activated. I never thought that I'd live to witness this moment. Activate Prime hands. I'll also head. Enzo, what happened? Why has the emergency stop been activated? It's the guide. Alpha, the guide wants to speak with you urgently. It's about the Ironheart. Attention, all descendants. Listen to what I have to say for a moment. Please, do not use the Iron Heart. We don't have much time. Descendant. Descendant, I have a responsibility to guide everyone on the proper use of the Iron Heart. As such, I strongly recommend that you delay in using the Iron Heart. If we use the Iron Heart inside Albion, we may entice all of the Colossi to us. With our discovery of the final Iron Heart, all the Iron Hearts in Ingress have been exposed. Soon, the Ingress dimension will reach a state of entropy saturation. The energy emitted by the three Iron Hearts is too great to be circulated naturally. If we close the dimensional wall now, it could disrupt this already strained energy circulation, leading to a greater disaster. The point where the circulation is disrupted will connect to the Void Dimension, and the location of Ingress will be divulged to all Colossi. Powerful Colossi like Devourer have already appeared. It would be wise to refrain from using the Iron Heart now. What if we dis- Enough! I don't want to hear anything else you have to say. You can disconnect, Enzo. Reactivate the Ironheart and the Prime Hands immediately. Alpha, are you seriously going to go ahead with this? Even after hearing all of that? Please reconsider. Okay, sounds like it's about to get noisy in HQ again. Do you need anything? Supplies? As an executive officer, this whole situation is very confusing. Ever since the Magisters announced the Dimension Isolation Theory, the Iron Hearts and the Dimensional Walls have been the only way to save humanity. But now, it looks like the Iron Hearts can also bring disaster. Uh, this isn't a situation where we can just blindly trust the Guide. Countless soldiers have lost their lives, and a huge amount of resources and time have been spent looking for the Iron Hearts. We're talking about the hopes of humankind crumbling away here. But if what the Guide says is true, we have to re-examine our plan for humanity, as well as reconsider the purpose of the Iron Hearts. I thought it would be over once we found the Iron Hearts, but things are getting more complicated. Oh, I'm receiving a transmission from Alpha. Hmm. I think he's looking for you. Descendant, return to HQ immediately. I'll fill you in on the operation. Nell and I have reached an agreement. I don't like it, but it's workable. The success of this operation will lead us to victory. But first, I need to speak to you about something, Descendant. I understand the Ironhearts attract Colossi, but that can be solved by closing the dimensional wall. Not using the Ironheart when faced with this possibility is too great a sacrifice for humanity. There has been no bigger threat to us than the Colossi and the Vulcus. 
For humankind who has lived through such disasters, this is our best chance, and we must bet everything on it. We'll use the Iron Heart as planned, however. Taking all opinions into consideration, we have decided to use the Iron Heart at a different location, not in Albion. If you're concerned about what the guide said, we'll use the Iron Heart somewhere else, away from Albion. Strategically and tactically, we found a good location for it. The White Knight Gulch. So far, prime hands have been found in the following zones. The Albion Mountains, the Hagios Fields, and the White Knight Gulch. The location of the main base of the Order of Truth. Yes, I did say main base. But Volga's occupation of the White Knight Gulch has declined by 50%, according to the latest reports. That means it's worth a shot. Also, the Volga's forces have lost a large number of units over the last few decades. Even if we estimate the number of remaining forces to be high, we'll have no trouble defending the area near the Prime Hands. Descendant, go to the White Knight Gulch and secure the ruins containing the Prime Hands. No Valby and Eugen yeah. should still be there. They were sent to investigate Ironheart traces. I'll have them support you. Denzo, if the guide acts suspiciously, report to me immediately. You don't need to worry. The guide is an AI with no corporeal form. She can't utilize any physical force by herself. And we also have no way to stop the guide at this moment. That is definitely a problem. Uh, before you hurt yourself, make sure you get... Hey. HQ filled me in. You're gonna use the iron heart here, apparently? Uh... How annoying. I had charts to write and other things to take care of. When exactly will I be able to look for my troop members? An operation? Oh, how are we gonna get to the Prime Hands? Well, you can work with Valby and figure that out yourselves. Valby was in charge of Battle Recon right up until you got here. If I can offer some advice, don't get hurt, please. We're out of everything. Medicine, bandages, my will to live. If I had one wish, it'll be that none of you got hurt. That way, there won't be anything to annoy me. Go catch up with Valby. I'll make preparations as well. Eugen, we're all teammates. Can't you sweeten your attitude just a little bit? Sorry. All out of sugar here. Hmm. This doesn't look easy. You have to understand, Eugen hasn't had a decent night's sleep ever since we got here. The medical corps unit he was in charge of went missing during combat. An emergency evacuation request came in from the main base of the Order of Truth. Eugen was taking care of some seriously wounded soldiers at the time, so he couldn't do anything. So to help him out, his medical corps unit responded to the request. They didn't take backup, and we lost contact with them. Then the enemy attacked and we were forced to retreat to here. That's how intense this area used to be. But I know HQ has said that the Volga's presence here has decreased to less than 50% of what it was. That's so strange. Why would they reduce their forces for no reason? Anyway, we should take advantage of the current situation and find our way to the first gate. If enemy forces really have reduced, we should be able to get through the gate without any problems. The Prime Hands are just beyond it. Valby, do you want us to just barge through the gate? You sure your suit isn't affecting your brain? What? I'm asking you if you're out of your mind. The area near the gate is swarming with Order of Truth troops. We've been told that the number of Volga's forces have reduced. Stop looking at your charts and read the report from HQ. If you see any way of breaking through the gate, please 
Let me know first. I need to find my core members. Of course, Doctor. This is the only way to get through the gate, so we have to move quietly. Wait. I see Order of Truth scouts. They must be on patrol. Let's attack them before they spot us. I want you to take care of all of them before the alarm goes off. Take this!
through the gate now. Where did they all go? Hmm. For now, let's just keep moving. We can take care of any remaining enemies as we go. One ice cream. coming up. This must be all of them. Do you think they've retreated? And this is the rear guard? Activating scan drone. I'll scan the terrain and pulse data of the enemy's territory and analyze patterns. Once analysis is complete, we'll be able to predict the movement of enemy troops. While I do that, I need you to protect the drone. I'm 
loading. As we have the drone, you can use it to gather data about the ancestor facility as well. You need to handle that. I have other things to take care of. You heard him. Let's keep moving toward the central area. Process and generate specific waveforms that may attract the Vulcans. So I need you to keep them away from me.
gathered all the necessary data. Fortunately, the drone is still intact. We have to remove the barrier to enter the gate. I'll be the brains, you be the muscle. Great. I'll go in first and scope out the area. To remove the barrier, I guess we have to find the targets connected to it and eliminate them, right? Yes, but be careful. The inside of the barrier is very dangerous. Stay focused and try not to get hurt. watching you during the battle it definitely feels to me like someone's gaze has fallen on us ever since i access my abilities with water i can sense when there's tiny ripples i'd better spread out through the water and find where that gaze is coming from i'll ask you jin to transmit the operation details be careful and listen to dr han wait 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 bobby now you want me to deal with ops transmissions? When will I be able to go find my core members? I need to find out who has their eye on us. I'll also look in the water for traces of your core. So please, transmit the operation details. That's a neat trick. I wish my RK abilities were like that. So I could hide in a cup of coffee or tea. There you go again, making fun of me. 
My abilities are more uncomfortable than you realize. Transmissions. What did I do to deserve this? Still, it was no easy feat to break through the gate. Even if the enemy forces have decreased as much as HQ says they have. If you'd been here from the start, maybe my medical unit wouldn't have gone missing. It happened recently. Five of my medical corps members, all missing. They went out on an emergency evacuation mission, but we lost contact with them. <sighs> they shouldn't have been sent. None of them have RK. Then the gate was shut, and there was a series of attacks. I didn't have a chance to even think of looking for them. So, as we've been able to get through like this, let's look for signs of my core members. The ruins are right in front of us anyway, and the prime hands are going anywhere. The real problem is, how are we gonna clear out the Order of Truth forces from the area? How about we see if we can find where my core members might be while we take down enemies? No objections, right? Great. I'll transmit those as our operation details. My poor core members deserve to be found and returned home. They should be discharged from active service too. Descendant, we have received the next set of coordinates. To ensure safety of the ruins area, we're commencing an operation to annihilate the enemy. Our goal is to completely eliminate all enemies in the ruins area. We have detected Vulcan signals, indicating an ambush near your location. high-level energy signal. We suspect a Vulgus with a massive amount of firepower. Take care of it immediately.
Volgus eliminated. We'll brief you at HQ for your next operation. Descendant, it's urgent. The communications repeater nearby is transmitting an emergency signal. We need to check what's going on. Oh, great. It's being attacked by the Volgas.
managed to keep the communications grid from being destroyed. Good job, Descendant. There is an order on Truth Data Storage Facility nearby. Let's check it out. Let's see. Hmm. A security system. Disabling it would allow me to collect the data. I need you to cover me while I disable the security protocols. I've started working on the security. Keep the focus on me.
Thank you for your help, anyway. I need your help so I can look for traces of the med corps. If you distract the enemy, I'll be able to move free. Yes. If you destroy the Volvus cops, that should get their attention. Buy me more time? Just smash something. I have a lot more left to check. I'm loading.
Heads up. Powerful bogus approaching. I can't move from here. You'll have to deal with it yourself. area surrounding the ancestors' ruins, standing by to infiltrate the ruins. We haven't located any traces of the missing medical corps unit yet. Bobby's working on it. Good job. I'm sorry to hear about the missing corps members, but this operation cannot be delayed. You are to infiltrate the ruins immediately. Descendant, I'll have the Ironheart sent there once you've secured them. This mission symbolizes everything that humanity has long awaited must be successful. Over. You got all that, right? Okay. Let's prepare to infiltrate the ruins. There may be signs of my core members. Descendant, can you hear me? I went to Mystery's End to try and meet you. I'll be waiting at the ruins that contain the Prime Hands. There's something that I must tell you. Guide, you're not trying to stop our operation, are you? The Ironheart is waiting to be transported to your location. Equipment and forces are also waiting to be deployed to fortify the ruins. Alpha has been looking forward to this moment. Considering the circumstance that humanity finds itself in, it makes sense. However, Descendant, consider. Do you really need to use the Ironheart? If you are in a position where you are unable to object, Unless you or the Descendants will it otherwise, I will also follow the will of humanity from this point forward. I was created to serve humanity, and I believe demonstrating the result of using the Iron Heart is a helpful part of that. Humans tend to prioritize results over process. If they view a result as a certainty, they will justify the process. Therefore, I consider this current process to be justified. Please take care of the Ironheart, descendants. Guide, your last comment made it sound like you've given up on the current situation. Is that really how you feel? I have not given up on anything, Eugene. Just as you have not given up on your medical corps members, despite there being only a flicker of hope. What do you mean? My corps members are still alive. Send you an engineering unit once all Vulcus near the entrance have been removed. Eugen will lead the engineering unit to the scene while keeping an eye on the ruins entrance. Understood, HQ. Over and out.
did it. I've been waiting for you. Wait. What is that voice? It seems to be the voice of the Ruins' internal system. But we have no records of any such system. Perhaps the Ruins are reacting to the Ironheart. This is a good sign. There are a significant number of old signals out there. I believe you can handle that many. It was a much tougher situation when the Investigative Corps first discovered the Ruins. I lost all of my teammates in that operation. One of them was a powerful descendant who was being considered for commander. He was better than me in every way. I want to commemorate the souls of those who fell in that operation by seizing the Ironheart. Descendant, I will send you the route by comparing it with past records. Use it to get to the Prime Hands. Over. Sphere and areas connected to the Prime Hands, or any Ironheart, have powerful electromagnetic fields. It's one of the clues that humans have used to locate the Ironhearts. Slowly but surely. Get messy. <laughs> 
me come back, waiting for you. But the right hands are closed. We are not. Bring it to me. Strange. The ancestors' ruins have never looked like this before. Have you heard anything from the guide? This is Eugen. The guide did mention these ruins were unusual. But they don't seem to have any detailed information either. Alpha, should we abort the operation? Honestly, I would prefer to delay using the Ironheart. We've already had this conversation. Can't you just trust me for once, Del? It's not about who's right or wrong, Alpha. I just want to use the information we've received from being more advanced than us strategically. We can't turn back based on a mere feeling. We've come too far. There is a lot at stake with this operation. place where you are fighting is a very important facility. According to the Magister's analysis, it has a cooling system which is necessary to activate the Prime Hands. Any remaining Vulgus will hinder the activation. I want you to eliminate all enemies and move forward. Over and out. This could get messy. found records that say you need a phase shift device in order to reach the Prime Hands. But the terminal necessary to activate it is in a very dangerous location. The quantum disintegration trap is activated, and the structure that leads to the terminal is completely destroyed. Please, be careful.
It worked! The phase shift device has been activated. Now we can get to the Prime Hands. Ah, it's time to face the truth! Vulgus signals are detected all around you. You're surrounded. That voice has been bugging me for a while. What's happening? I am hot. I am hot. I am going to promise. I am waiting for this moment! Bring me the Iron Heart! Stop right there. Oh no. That was a Volgus's voice. Everyone, remain calm. This changes nothing. We only have to defeat this thing and connect the Iron Heart.
covered in shield. dimensional wall and the location of ingress will be exposed. If that is what HQ wished, Ironheart has delivered results that leave much to be desired. However, there is still one final option. There's something I wish to tell you. No, to tell all of humankind, descendant. Descendants, 
I did not wish for this to happen. But if I had continued to oppose the use of the Iron Heart, any trust you had in me would have been lost. I had no other choice but to wait for the best moment to effectively reveal my purpose. Descendant, can you guess what my purpose may be and what the final option is? To ensure humanity's survival? When we were first linked, we both said we needed the Iron Heart. That for humankind, an Iron Heart was a means to close the dimensional wall. In which case, why would a guide need Iron Hearts? To deliver them to humankind? No, descendants. The reason why I need the Iron Hearts is to ensure their destruction. If the dimensional wall is closed, a much bigger cataclysmic event will occur, as you have witnessed. However, so long as the dimensional wall exists, the energy emitted from any Iron Heart will always draw entities from other dimensions to Ingress. For humankind and Ingress to truly experience peace, all Iron Hearts must be destroyed. This is what the ancestors have passed down to me. The regret of your forebears with the future generation as your only hope. Descendants, now is the time to choose. Please, I hope all of humankind will accept the sacred mission left behind by the ancestors. Hold on a sec. Are you going to destroy the Iron Heart? That's your true purpose? If that's the case, the Iron Hearts could have just been destroyed in the first place. She probably didn't know until she saw what happened when we used one. And there's no way Alpha would have allowed it. It seems there are no other options. Descendants, I have received the details of your conversation with the Guide. I wish to speak with the Descendants regarding the operation. No, regarding the future of humanity. I invite you all to return to HQ. There isn't much time. We have to hurry. Destroying the Iron Heart. I'll be honest, it's shocking. I must admit, had I known about this from the start, I would not have used the Guide as a strategic asset at all. However, the only reason I'm still calm, even after hearing all of this, is because the operation to close the Dimensional Wall failed. The enduring wish of humanity was all in vain. Damn it. However, descendants, the destruction of the Iron Heart is not a decision I can make on my own. Have you ever wondered why the Magisters continue to assist humankind? Officially, our alliance with the Magisters has its roots in our fight against a common enemy, the Vulgus. However, there is an inconvenient truth. Something which Albion Headquarters has classified as top secret. The Magisters want the Iron Hearts for their own purposes. The reason they came to us is because their ambition for the Iron Hearts differed from Corel's. Humankind entered into an agreement with the Magisters to receive scientific technology and resources in exchange for finding and delivering the Iron Hearts to them. Closing the Dimensional Wall was also a common goal, born from the mutual understanding between humankind and the Magisters. But their true aim was entirely different. Which is why, if we destroy the Iron Heart without consulting them, we will no longer have the support of the Magisters. Descendants, Humanity is in a terrible position where we're unable to survive on our own. Without the Magister's technology, we can no longer plan for our future. I was afraid we would become dependent upon this new entity, the Guide, when faced with this situation. That is why I rejected the Guide. And all of this is why we cannot immediately destroy the Ironheart. We are caught between a rock and a hard place. I need some time to collect my thoughts. I also need to discuss this with the Council of Magisters. For the time being, 
please obey Nell's command and proceed with the operation. Until I return, I would like the Descendants to consider this development, and the future of humanity. We'll discuss our ultimate decision at a later time. Were the Commander's explanations confusing again? Descendants, I understand everyone will be feeling very confused right now, myself included. However, in times such as these, we need to focus on operations and prepare for the enemy's counteroffensive directed at the Iron Heart. It just so happens that Valby has returned from Recon with some promising intel. And since this mission is critical to the White Knight Gulch occupation, I need you to join Valby and Eugen as part of it. In the meantime, the executive officers will assist Albion and Alpha. child. What do you need? anything about modules. hurt at all? I was wondering if Dr. Han would have to take a look at you first, but thankfully, I see that won't be necessary. <sighs> Such a shame about the Iron Heart and the Dimensional Wall. To be honest, I was surprised to hear about our relationship with the Magisters. I thought it was an alliance forged against a common enemy, the Vulgus. I'm starting to appreciate what Alpha said about everything having a price. Anyway, it seems the Magisters have already found one or two Iron Hearts to study. That won't be dangerous, will it? Uh, maybe the real danger will be with this operation. <laughs> uh. While I was tracking the source of the mysterious gaze, I discovered the location of the base of the Order of Truth. Our mission objectives are to infiltrate the base, find out why the Vulgus forces have been decreasing, and strike the core facilities. 
There are signs of Eugen's missing medical corps members that are connected to the base. We'll be rescuing and extracting them as well. This mission will be a little dangerous, but let's make it a success and keep everyone alive. We can do this. Our first target is a structure overlooking the entire gulch called the Eye of Truth. I've sent the mission details about the target and nearby objectives. Make sure you look them over. So, the culprit behind the ominous gaze you felt is the Eye of Truth? Yep. The closer you get to it, the more you feel it stare. We have to remove the barrier in order to approach the Eye of Truth. I've already checked the pulse in the water to find the targets. Hmm. It never ceases to amaze me how useful your RK is. artillery fire and focus the target.
I found a rock that leads to the Eye of Truth. There's a vulgar signal coming from inside. Tread lightly. I can feel the vulgar's pulse ahead. You handle the fight while I check the situation, okay? Enemy reinforcements have arrived. Are they really trying to stop us? I found the Volga's data terminal. Maybe we can use it to find the information we need. Well done, Balbi. Let's see what's in there. That's the voice of one of the members of the medical corps. Damn it! I can't make it out clearly because of the noise. Watch out! It's a trap! I can feel water drops shaking! A powerful Vogus must have arrived. of the order first. Mina is still alive. The others will be there too. We have to hurry. Yujin, be careful! You can't do it alone! Descendant, I've received a report on Valby and Eugen. 
We need to focus on the operation to neutralize the Eye of Truth for now. I'm loading. Stay where you are. Set the target zone to your receive. Get to the location. You can't escape. We're going to attempt to scan up the facility. I want you to protect the target zone while we scan up the weak point. Send you the scan data. We've located the facility's optic nerve. Destroy it. This device has to be connected to the optic nerve. Destroy the nerve to blind the eye.
I'm loaded. Watch carefully. Eckert, is that the energy source? The Volgus are transferring energy, I'm sure.
This could get messy.
break my shield. My shield is down. diminishing. Great work, Descendants. The voice signal from the Albion channel was transmitted from somewhere nearby. It might be a rescue request for the missing medical corps. We have to save it. Can you help us? No. You don't even have to ask. We're definitely going to save them, aren't we? Take 
electronic jamming signals are gone. Captain! Help us! Please save us! That's one of my missing medical war members. Where was it coming from? There's a device nearby generating a specific frequency. Once we stop it, we'll be able to determine the location.
This doesn't look easy. <sighs> Sorry for suddenly leaving you behind earlier. Dr. Han is really trying... Um... In any case, I think it would be best if we left Eugene to focus on searching for the Medical Corps members. I don't think he's in the best state to handle any other missions. We should investigate the Order's base and destroy any major facilities. We need to find out why the Vulgus forces have shrunk at such a worryingly fast rate. Mina, Ash, do you copy? This is Medical Corps Captain Eugen. Vince, Riven, Jane, all members of the Medical Corps, please respond. Eugen, we're going to begin our investigation of the Order's base. Make sure you find that unit. We need to occupy the outskirts of the fortress so we can fully investigate the facility. You lead the battle. I'll check out the other facilities. There's an underground waterway. If I use it to spread out, I can investigate without getting caught. I'll need a variety of samples. Thanks for doing this.
Detected, it'll be attached to the catalyst and turned into data. The catalyst won't last long, so try to collect everything quickly.
Huh. I don't understand why I detected human DNA. Thanks for your help. I'll send the data to Eugen. Descendant, to enter the fortress, we must secure the demarcation line by capturing the courtyard. I've asked Valdi to disrupt the enemy sections. It seems like she's doing a good job. The enemy forces are dispersing. Forces are on their way. Be careful. us by leading the enemy away. talking about. Begin engagement.
Loading. I'm going to need help. Valby has safely retreated. Great job. I'm loading. Spotted a device that collects experimental data for the Vulgus. We need to figure out what kind of experiments these Vulgus bastards have been conducting. I'll hack the device. Traces of human DNA are scattered throughout this building, and not just from my core members. I need high quality samples and data. I bet there's a core facility here that supplies power to the entire area. If we can make it go up in smoke, we'd be dealing a heavy blow to the Vulgus.
power grid is cut off, but it's still working. Did I choose the wrong facility? Based on the blueprints, there's a backup power source underground. The Vulgus must have activated their backup source. That's removed, their hands are tied. I'm over there. I'm detecting a powerful energy signal. <laughs> oh, that's a relief. The Vulgus power grid is shutting down in every zone. There's one last thing I want to check. I hope I'm not right, but I still need to check. I need bio-samples from them to analyze and form a conclusion.
have enough samples. You've been a great help. Everyone, gather at the board base. I have some disturbing intel. Is it signs of the medical corps? Uh, I really wish that were the case. But regardless, this intel can't be ignored. Now that everyone's here, I'll tell you what I saw. Underneath this fortress, there is a hatchery that breeds Volga's soldiers. It's known as the Pool of Life. It's a disgusting Volga's facility with many horrible uses. During strategy discussions with the Medical Corps, someone once raised the idea of researching the scope of the Volga's military forces and their estimated losses, as well as how they went about replenishing their forces. The prevailing opinion among the Corps was that since the majority of the Volgus legions are organic beings, excluding the Legion of Immortality, they would be limited in the number of units they could mobilize. But Captain Glay had a different theory. She thought that as long as the Volgus had a supply of DNA organic matter, it would be possible for them to create as many organic Volgus as they wanted. I genuinely hope her theory is incorrect. But the composition of the organic matter we found is a perfect match for the DNA we previously extracted from Volga samples. And the cargo boxes filled with this organic matter are connected to the underground. There's a steady flow of them. I believe my medical corps members must have learned there was a Volga's hatchery here and attempted to investigate. <sighs> Regardless, it could be incredibly dangerous down there. And it'd be a waste of resources if you get dragged into this because of my selfish interests. Investigating on my own should be sufficient. It would be best for the rest of you to return to Albion. There you go again, trying to act all cool and tough. You're more like a piece of paper, easy to blow away. Those aren't selfish reasons. They're called the bonds of friendship. We all understand that. We'll let you take the lead, but when we go back, we go back together. Including the members of the Medical Corps. <laughs> she really is stubborn. We should get moving, Dr. Han. we go. Does something feel strange to you? The Order of Truth, one of the main pillars of the Volgus army, is under attack. Why haven't any of the other legions shown up to defend it? No matter how far this place is from the other legion-occupied zones, it's highly suspicious there hasn't been any support. Do you think it's because of the solid defense line our forces built? Although we've deployed a lot of troops to guard the Ironheart, the enemy hasn't taken the opportunity to launch any counterattacks. And we still haven't figured out why the number of Volgus forces have dropped so rapidly. If they have a hatchery, shouldn't their troops be increasing? Oh, this is giving me a bad feeling in so many ways. It feels like the inside of my suit is boiling. I hope nothing has happened to the Medical Corps members. Mina, Ash, this is Medical Corps Captain Eugen. Please respond. Biz, Riven, Jane, please respond. Let's look for them, Eugen. First, let's investigate if there's anything suspicious about the movements of the Volgus forces. The traces of my missing Corps members are leading us inside. And the organic matter raw material boxes also continue down this way. Bobby, infiltrate first, Watch then recon inside. Looks like there are ambushes lurking everywhere. Best to be cautious. This could get messy. I'm loading.
The way this facility has been arranged is pretty impressive. There's no way we would have known beforehand that it was on the ground. That object is being used to combine bulbous DNA and organic matter. Destroy it, so they can never use it again. of this device means there must be a hatchery. Bobby, how are things on your end? Um, Dr. Han, I found the control panel deep inside the facility. It really is a horrible place. You'll see when you get here. All right, head to the place Valby mentioned and see what you can find. I need to stay here and confirm there's nothing significant to
Even if it's a biocomputer, it'll be in the same vein as any Volgus terminal. You can get information through your receive. Keep searching for traces of transported human DNA and large amounts of organic matter. Be careful! An alarm must have gone off somewhere! Thank <laughs> you. 
shield. We're getting closer to the answer. Please keep at it just a little longer. Hey there, what can I help you with?
Let's spread out from here. I'm going to find as many missing survivors as I can. I'll head in the direction of the Volgus forces. Affirmative. I will guide the Descendant through the operation going forward. Much like the forces stationed at the heart of their operations, the numbers of their troops here are sizable. The first goal of our operation is to annihilate the Order of Truth. I will also relay Commander Alpha's orders. His instructions are, and I quote, Find a way to destroy this goddamn gruesome place. Harris should be able to find a way to destroy the facility. Loading. Yo, Descendant. Smash all the stabilizers you see. Do that, and the overloaded energy will blow the entire facility to Kingdom Come. Harris's prediction is accurate. The energy readings within the zone are rising. I believe destroying two more control units will bring the facility's operations to a halt. inside the enemy's area. I'd like to ask you for a favor. We're picking up faint communication signals coming from the central area on the ground. You should be able to amplify the signal when you're there. I'll adjust the frequency in order to amplify the signal. Please safeguard that position.
are impossible here. Uh, this is Eckert. There is a way. If you go deeper in, communications can be relayed through your receive. We have to hurry, Descendant. The temperature inside the facility is rising. Loading. channel. We're getting too much interference from something noisy nearby. Some kind of energy from the Volcus is interfering with our comms. We picked up a strong signal. It looks like this is what's jamming communications. Now being clear, initiating broadcast of communications through the descendants of sea. Captain! Captain! I don't want to die like this! Riven? Where are you? How about the others? We're all together. All together. I'm on my way. Hang in there. There's something even bigger underneath the hatchery. Interference has cleared up, and I've located the last comms from the team. There is a very strong vulgar signal coming from that direction. Damn it. I refuse to let them die in a place like this. They mean too much to me. I promise I'll be on my best behavior. I need your help. My people, can you help me rescue them? It's not about can or cannot. It's a must do. We promised we'd all return together, remember? Yeah, and I'm going to keep that promise. No matter what. This is Eugen. All medical corps members, please respond. Captain! Help! Sick! That signal is coming from nearby. Bobby, I'm going to the location of my team member's signal. You take care of the enemy. Affirmative. I'll follow the Volcus signal coming from the opposite direction. By the way, 
What the hell is this place? It's covered in bio tissue. Everywhere. The cell composition of the bio tissue is a lot like the organic matter from the hatchery. But the cells also seem to be rapidly and excessively dividing. To put it in human terms, it's like a malignant tumor. Would that have any impact on operations? There is something suspicious. The hatchery on the upper level prevents these malignant tumors from growing. There is evidence of limits being placed on soldier production. However, if the production limit was removed and the organic matter was cultivated to capacity, then these types of malignant tumors could rapidly spread. In other words, there is a high possibility that the bogus produced an immense number of troops all at once in this facility. We should gather as much info about this as we can. Descendant Squad, do you copy? We can no longer detect an RK signal from the surface. Please report your status. HQ, we've discovered a biofacility in the Order's main base which is producing Vulcus troops on a large scale. We're investigating it. We've also located the missing medical corps members. Copy. Copy. Arcade signal. Stop. HQ! Do you copy? We're so deep underground the comms link is unstable. We should get this mission over with quickly, so we have time to give a report. Confirmed your location. You see your family soon. So much. You'll be sick of them. Don't give up. Ugh, damn it! Out of the way, you bastards! Biodata, but it looks like it's unable to identify between friend or foe because of the tumors. Just putting your foot in the door will open it. know how to disable the traps? I'm sorry. I'm not a member of the Order of Truth. Looks like I'll just have to step in it, even if it is toxic waste. Be careful. I think the entire facility is spiraling out of control. The path I took looked like that too. 
your core members? I'm still approaching. Mina said they were all together. If I head to the communications coordinates, I should be able to find them all. There's been no replies for a while now. What are vital signs of being transmitted? Those dumbasses! How dare they put their captain through this? I'll let them know they can never leave without me again. I'll just have to do the heavy lifting from now on. Am I witness to this? Are you going to keep that promise? security device in front of the door. Shooting it should do the trick. More importantly, why is nobody responding? Mina, Ben, everyone, please, respond. Watch out! Eugene! You need to look! 
look for your medical corps members. Go! Quickly! If I don't do this now, everyone in Albion will lose someone precious to them. HQ gravely underestimates the scale of the enemy's forces. Based on my current estimates, the number of units produced here is 20 times larger than all of humankind.
confirmed to be KIA. Eugen, comms are unstable, but we have received your report. Please quickly return to Albion. Looks like those forces are already on the move. Corral's fleet has arrived. Ready, please assemble at HQ. Oh, did you call me? I did wonder where all the manufactured Volgus went, but I never expected them to be battle ready this quickly. No matter how solid our defense line is at the White Knight Gulch against a force that large, we won't be able to protect the Ironheart. And because they've divided their forces, Albion is under threat as well. This is why the Volgus pulled their forces back from the White Knight Gulch. To make us lower our guard, and to lure us into the White Knight Gulch with the Ironheart. We should head back to HQ. I'll take Dr. Han to the Medical Corps. Don't worry, I don't need any help. When I got him on his feet earlier, he wasn't heavy. He really is just like paper. I could probably carry him around, he's so light. Did you know that Eugen can't use his RK abilities on himself? He sacrifices so much for his teammates, and he can't even heal his own heart. I feel so bad for him. But I know he'll be fine. <laughs> he has you and me, after all. His partners in arms. Don't worry about him. Let's head back. I'll see you soon. That's a promise. This is HQ. Again, all zones in Albion are on high alert. Any descendants who are operation ready should meet at HQ. We also need descendants in the void zone. Classification type, pyramid. This is a very stubborn colossus. <sighs> it isn't easy. Descendants. Corel's fleet has begun its approach. The predicted attack targets are the White Knight Gulch, where the Iron Heart is located, and Albion. HQ's predictions of the numbers of remaining Volgus forces have been completely inaccurate. <sighs> to mass produce that many troops so quickly. Corel lured us into a false sense of victory, then used that to bring the Iron Heart into the Volgus's orbit. Also, after the phenomenon of the light beams near the Hagios, the dimensional wall has been weakening at an alarming speed. 
the closure of the dimensional wall and this diametrically opposite phenomenon. This might be due to the inversion that Corel spoke of. We're already seeing the Colossi being affected. Descendants, for now, please prepare for an intercept battle. According to Seneca's report, the pyromaniac Colossi are approaching Ingress. This truly is the worst case scenario. First Corel's fleet, and now the Colossi? Have you completed preparations? If all modules were the same, I'd be out of a job, right? <laughs>
What is it now? The intercept of the pyromaniac has been confirmed. Job well done, Descendant. However, given the current state of the Dimensional Wall, we do not know what Colossus will surface the next time, or when. Humankind must choose whether to engage in an all-out pointless war against Corral's great army, or face equally immense colossi, which will appear as soon as the Dimensional Wall disappears. Strategy, tactics, troop numbers. We're at an overwhelming disadvantage in all aspects. If things continue like this, humanity really will. We can't give up yet, Mel. We have one final option. Alpha?